Well, this guy looks like he fixes things like I do. Hey guys, Hobbs here. We're going to look at the goblin race today. I uh, made a goblin just so I could show it for you a little bit in their area. Some of their new abilities, like this uh, racial ability where he's got a, a jump and he can actually use his belt also to fire some missiles. We're just going to go through, take a look at some of the quests, uh, not really go into too much detail, but some of the experiences I uh, was able to see within the first few levels, like everything from gathering quests like this. Uh, I found when I was playing through the goblin area that it was uh, rich with graphics. Uh, I love the way that they were cluttered. They had garbage everywhere. Uh, all their machinery was similar to... Uh, you know, if any of you did any engineering, very similar to that, where it's barely holding together, but it's functional. You get one of these uh, riding mounts early in the game, and uh, which looks awesome in the back. It has a time equals money, friend. And, of course, it's got a little 8-ball stick shift in it. Had to take this for a tour around, tour around town just to see what it was like. And uh, there's some really neat places in the starting zone. This was probably I, I tried Worgen as well. I will come out with that for you guys as well. Uh, I've been, but this starting area really was uh, visually more entertaining and and more my style. It was more, it was comedic. It had a, a lighter mode to it. And and the Worgen I found uh, when I started there, it's it's more of a uh, for those who want a darker storyline and something more true to uh, less comical, that would definitely be uh, the other one that you would want to start at. And, and I'll show that in the future videos. Uh, and when you're, you don't have to wait in line when you're not an NPC, which is nice because it seems like a big demand here at this bank. The sights through town, you'll you'll meet up with some of the main characters like early on and then and later on as well. And the the whole zone's about phasing, where things change, and you know the different quests. It it, it is a really neat experience um, that I found for starting zones. Uh, I and like even just the different quests that keep variety, like this, where I got to play uh, one of these sport games. I'm not sure on the full uh, rules. All I know is I got to uh, got to destroy these guys before they destroy me, which is a pretty logical thing to do, to be quite honest. And of course, as you can see, I got some, I have some passengers in my car. At level 3 already. Skip ahead, a few quests, level 4. You'll see my guy's getting some gear. Now he's got some bling, which is kind of neat. He's looking a little uh, ready like he's out to go out on the town and meet some people. <laughs> like I said, this one is, I, I really enjoy this starting zone. You get to go party with them. You know, this guy's getting sick. He's missing the bucket that you so kindly put down for him. Get to throw some fireworks out for the people and hang out. And, uh, even some of the goblins will dance, you know, around this little, uh, disco ball. This all is good until you get, uh, the party gets crashed by, uh, pirates, which always puts a dampener on any party. So, which ties into this quest, which is great, you know, a, a, a simple kill quest, which is great because you not only get experience and, and loot while you're doing it, but when you hand it in, you get more experience. So they're one of my favorites as well. I, I'm really enjoying the rogue, even though I've only got a few uh, spells, or I guess they're not spells, they're um, abilities. Gotta get rid of that uh, saying from my uh, paladin. But I notice a huge difference on, on how fast I can actually DPS. Keep in mind, most of that footage was sped up. Just to show you all the uh, the completion of this uh, kill quest. And of course, with a lot of the quests, you can get nice rewards, update your gear. You'll see my guy has more updated gear. He's going to get a mace near the end. Uh, this little balloon in the air was neat. I took a little bit of footage, just wondering maybe if that comes into play later. One way to speed up a gathering quest is to blow the item up and actually collect the items three times, which of course speeds it up three times as faster. There's nothing like road raging through town to get your enemies down as well while collecting their loot. 
and, and there's so much variety, different things like uh, with this uh, this banking uh, quest and where you had to crack the code. It, it's keep in mind it is introductory quest, so it's getting people used to the game, right? It is a low level thing, so don't expect it to be super challenging at the beginning. But it it really gave. Uh, so far, I've enjoyed it, and that's the main thing: is why do you play games for fun? You'll see, and there we go, level six. So I'm going to tie this up now. I'm going to bring out some more levels, and then down the road we're going to get some Morgan footage out and some Hobbs footage. Now this is a uh, clip from my last video. For those who missed it, the link's going to be in the description. Also, don't forget to swing by and subscribe at youtube.com slash wowhobs where you'll get notified first when these videos are out. And to wrap this up, on the last video, everybody was wondering if that was a bird or a person falling randomly off the side of this cliff. So I'm going to slow this down, zoom it in, and you guys let me know in the comments what you think was dropping down there. Thanks again. Till next time, guys.